Welcome to an overview of my FPV ground station and the first flight with the new Vector flight controller. I fly on 1.3 GHz 800 mW transmitter. Opening up uh, the ground station briefcase, the first I do is attach my uh, blue beam antenna from IB Crazy. Next uh, I attach the external helical directional antenna to the secondary input on the Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes uh, ground diversity controller attaching uh, power a bit awkwardly with one hand. Opening up uh, the Fat Shark Dominator envelope and connecting them to the ground station. Next a 12 volt 12 ampere hour normal lead battery is the main source of power for the whole ground station uh, with 12.7 volts at the moment. I once had smoke emanating from a short in the ground station therefore I installed auto fuses with separate breakers for the external for the internal receiver, also separate uh, circuit for the video, displays also a video recorder above, unused at the moment, and a fourth one for a cigarette lighter socket where I have a USB charger connected. This is unfortunately the only picture you get of the vector switching to secondary camera. I do this on the via the transmitter in flight because uh, the video recorder wouldn't work for this demonstration. I've installed the vector at the top of uh, the fuselage bay and I have the video transmitter on the back in the cooling airstream of the propeller. Always test out all the flying surface surfaces, the functionality before I fly. I have some LED beacons, each one on each side and one on the tail. And I also have a homemade pan and tilt with a 180 degree server or 360 degree server from Hobby King, a 60 gram Metal Gear digital servo. Also have a tilt mechanism. With it. There's a separate video on YouTube describing this. So let's take off. Uh, I won't be narrating this uh, flight. The only thing I'll say is that it went really smooth. I was amazed I didn't have to change any parameters. I had uh, uh, master gain on a knob and uh, I ended up setting it at 60 which is halfway between min and max with uh, the factory settings only increased slightly due to the side area so I increased uh, rudder gain before I went flying. It's somewhat lengthy I'm gonna quit now talking and let you enjoy the FPV flying. Thanks for watching. Bye.